Proxima Centaur, the nearest star to our planetary get-together, has for some time been a subject of interest for space. Experts, this little red person was found in 1915 by Scottish space. Ace Robert Innes, it is principal to the Alpha Centaur framework, which, moreover, incorporates Alpha Centaur and, and B notwithstanding. Its nearness simply 4.24 light-years away. Proxima Centauri stays indistinct to the exposed EY because of its low brilliance. Anyway, Proxim Centaur holds gigantic logical importance particularly as the host star of Proxima B an exoplanet that circles inside the star's livable zone red midgets like Proxima Centaur and its cousin Tuddy are more unassuming cooler. Also, far longer lived than stars like our sun their low radiance makes them challenging to notice however it moreover recommends that their livable zones are a lot nearer to the star for proxima centauri this implies an orbital distance of around 0.05 galactic units simply a little part of the distance among earth and the sun this closeness opens proxima b2 critical heavenly movement including standard sun-based flares and elevated degrees of radiation making its environment tremendously unique in relation to earth's the disclosure of proxima b was a colossal forward leap in exoplanet research utilizing the outspread speed strategy space specialists distinguished unpretentious wobbles in proximus centaur position brought about by the gravitational draw of a circling planet these wobbles permitted researchers to gauge the planet's mass and orbital. Period in 2016, the European Southern Observatory formally affirmed the presence of Proxima B denoting a huge jump forward in the journey for possibly tenable universes past. Our close by nearby planet group while ground-based perceptions have given important experiences into Proxima B they accompany critical restrictions such as barometrical bending and light impedance which rear the capacity of earth-based telescopes to catch definite information about the planet's surface or on the other hand climate the majority of the data we have including its mass separation from the star and orbital attributes comes from roundabout estimations to uncover further bits of knowledge into proxima B's current circumstance and its true capacity for life progressed observational apparatuses like the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, our fundamental Proxima Centaur, and Tuddy Job as a passage to understanding. Exoplanetary frameworks couldn't be more critical as the nearest star framework. To Earth it offers an extraordinary open door to read up the circumstances pivotal forever. Proxima B specifically presents an tempting chance a rough Earth-sized planet with the possibility to hold on to water and maybe even life anyway the challenges presented by its unforgiving climate make it a mind-boggling puzzle for specialists the James Webb Space Telescope isn't simply one more device in the stockpile of room science it is a progressive instrument planned as the Replacement to the Hubble Space Telescope, JWST was worked to defeat the impediments of its ancestor and push the limits of human information while Hubble has given critical bits of knowledge into the universe including the period of the universe and the disclosure of great many universes its capacities are restricted by its attention on apparent and bright light JWST then again is intended to notice the universe in infrared frequencies permitting it to peer through enormous residue and uncover highlights stowed away from Hubble one of JWST key configuration highlights is its essential mirror which ranges a great 6.5 m in distance across over two times the size of Hubble's mirror this bigger mirror empowers JWST to gather considerably more light making it fit for noticing even the slightest and most far-off objects the reflect is covered with a slight layer of gold to upgrade its infrared 
reflectivity and is comprised of 18 hexagonal sections that cooperate to structure an uncommonly delicate observational stage another amazing progression is jwst layer of sunshield which keeps the telescopes instruments at a steady temperature of about short 233 degrees celsius this ultra cold climate is fundamental for recognizing faint infrared signals without impedance from the telescope's own intensity dissimilar to hubble which circles earth jwst works from the second range point l2 a steady situation around 1.5 million km from our planet this area limits obstruction from earth's intensity also light permitting jwst to keep up with consistent perceptions jwst can concentrate on everything from the earliest universes to the environments of exoplanets like proxima b its capacity to recognize infrared light is particularly critical as it permits researchers to concentrate on red moved objects those whose light has been extended to longer frequencies as the universe grows jwst abilities reach out a long ways past simple perception it is intended to respond to probably the most essential inquiries in science counting the beginnings of worlds the arrangement of stars and the circumstances that could uphold life on different planets with its high level instruments including the close to infrared camera n cam the mid infrared instrument miri and the close infrared spectrograph and peck jwst isn't simply a telescope it is a time machine a research lab and an image of human resourcefulness proxima b has enthralled the two researchers and the general population as a potential second earth arranged inside the tenable zone of its star the planet has the right circumstances to support fluid water a fundamental part for life as far as we might be concerned with a mass generally 1.17 times that of earth proxima b is possible a rough planet practically identical in design to our own its closeness to earth somewhat more than four light years away makes it an optimal objective for concentrating on the potential for life past our planetary group anyway proxima b is a long way from an optimal twin of earth quite possibly of its most striking element is that it is clean locked meaning one side of the planet is in unending daylight while the other is in timeless dimness this makes an exceptional climate with outrageous temperature contrasts between the two sides of the equator the locale where day meets night known as the eliminator line could offer a restricted livable zone with conditions sufficiently gentle to help life the challenges introduced by proxima b's climate are critical its host star proxima centaur is a red midget known for its extraordinary sun-based flares which can discharge explosions of x beams and bright radiation these flares could strip away the planet's air over the long run presenting its surface to the brutality of space assuming proxima b holds any climate it probably requires major areas of strength for a attractive field to safeguard it from radiation without such insurance the surface climate would be unfriendly to life as far as we might be concerned regardless of these challenges researchers stay hopeful about the potential for life on proxima be the planet's area inside the livable zone recommends that fluid water could exist either on its surface or on the other hand in subsurface stores life might adjust to the unforgiving circumstances similarly as earth living beings flourish in outrageous conditions for example remote ocean aqueous vents or high radiation zones these transformations could incorporate radiation opposition subsurface territories or novel biochemical cycles the quest for life on proxima b is something beyond a logical undertaking it is a mission to respond to one of mankind's most established questions are we alone in the universe proxima b addresses an captivating chance a rough earth-like world that could hold on to the circumstances 
vital for life as our innovation propels so too does our capacity to investigate this interesting planet and uncover its mysteries while proxima b presents alluring potential outcomes its climate is vigorously affected by the nature of its host star proxima centaur dissimilar to our sun proxima centaur is a red overshadow more modest cooler and fundamentally less iridescent its decreased size and temperature imply that its livable zone is a lot nearer maneuvering proxima b into an circle simply 0.05 cosmic units from the star multiple times nearer than earth is to the sun this closeness makes a remarkable arrangement of difficulties for the planet and any potential life it could hold on to one critical issue is Proxima Centaur heavenly movement, especially its serious and incessant sun-powered flares. These flares are unexpected. Strong explosions of energy that delivery. High dosages of X-rays and bright radiation such occasions are undeniably more normal and extraordinary in red diminutive people than in stars like our sun for Proxima B this implies a consistent flood of high energy particles that could strip away the planet's climate over the long run without a defensive attractive field like earth's magnetosphere any climate on proxima b would be defenseless against disintegration leaving its surface presented to cruel radiation regardless of whether proxima b holds a portion of its environment the radiation from proxima Centaur presents critical difficulties to life elevated degrees of bright radiation can break synthetic bonds forestalling the development of complex natural atoms this would harshly limit the potential for life to create or on the other hand support itself in the world's surface on earth organic entities like dacus radiodurans have created systems to fix dna harm brought about by radiation proposing that life on Proxima B may additionally adjust anyway the degree of radiation obstruction required would be outrageous conceivably requiring altogether new biochemistry's fascinating L.Y. Proxima B's clean locked nature could offer some insurance while one side of the planet faces steady radiation from Proxima Centaur the clouded side could act as a shelter subsurface territories or profound caverns could protect potential living things from the most exceedingly terrible of the radiation moreover in the event that proxima b has subsurface seas they could give a stable sans radiation climate where microbial life could flourish similar as the biological systems around aqueous vents on earth d